he's done it easily. I is he good? Has, I think yeah. he has. Pretty hard for us to see around that concrete pillar there, Nisbo. Doug Howlett and Jonathan Kaplan just wants to check here with Roy Maybank to make sure that everything's in order, but I suspect it is. And, and he did his man like a winger should on the outside too. That's the classic. Doug Howlett looking for his 40th test try. Big pass major here. This is miss three. His, his opponent was dead in the right spot, but he just created hesitation in the opposition's defence there and then really powered it on for the, for the line and made it. Yes, look at that. Yeah, foot up off the ground. There's no problem with that. Didn't touch the line. So he just stopped them the way he ran towards him and then had enough gas to get through. Well, this might be a little closer than we thought, actually. Yeah. Uh, oh, I think that that boot might be on the line. Um, the other angle show, didn't show that, did it? Mind you, if it's there, it's there. Let's get the call. Yeah, the amazing two angles can tell an almost completely different story. The All Blacks have gone back to halfway. Now they're going to have to sprint back uh, towards the goal line. Looked a dead set try in that uh, overhead replay, didn't it? It did. It did indeed. So, Irish to defend. So, Boone throws. O'Callaghan drags it down. Just. Still 31 points to nil. All Blacks pressing hard. Oh, look at this. Driving them backwards. Ali Williams has got his hands wrapped around that. Leave it flat five. Hold there. Hold there. Nagara. Way deep in the in goal area. And he does well to get it out towards the 22. Good clearance by Ronan O'Gara, who keeps uh, David Humphreys out of this team. Just a pace from the dead ball line. Mialamu throws quickly, completely unchallenged. Now he has to go back and recover, though, Kevin Mialamu. Gets driven back, but he'll still have it in there. And uh, the All Blacks should be able to get this back. Now it's been stolen. I think uh, Malcolm O'Kelly got it. Yeah. Stringer. Good play Ireland. O'Gara goes for a bit of a run. Now the left winger, Anthony Horgan. O'Gara again. Shane Horgan slings it wide. And uh, it falls into the arms of uh, Jimmy Bow, the right winger. Stringer again. This is Darcy, who's uh, probably been the best of the Irish backs. Now Leany. And he's been the best of the forwards. Leany. Down he goes. Two Elite and our forward together. And a bit lucky to get away with that. He fell the wrong way. The All Blacks were trying to wrestle the ball off him. Some players just seem to have a nose for the ball. Some loose forwards particularly. And Leany is one of these. He's been all over the place. For a team that's been dominated, he's had the ball in his hands so many times. He's obviously a good player with a good future. First game, of course, at number eight, and his second cap. He's not a big man, Murray. Not a big man about at all. About six foot two, I think the stats say. Oh, oh dear, nearly a tight head there. It bounced off the loose head prop and went forward. Well, I think both the Irish props are uh, having a tough old afternoon. It's interesting, isn't he? He's 107 kg, so he's exactly the same as Rodney Soyalo, height and weight. And he has the same sort of assertive manner about him. But the loose forward for New Zealand that's been on the ball like Leamy has been McCall. Now Stringer for O'Gara. Darcy, oh, smashed by Nonu. Good spot tackle, but Ireland still have it. Ball uh, almost lost forward as uh, Stringer gets a hold of it. Well, there goes Peter Stringer. Taken down by Sivivatu. Now Johnny O'Connor. Does Ireland get a bit of a roll on? And they've still got the ball there, I see. 
Right, dead slow though. And only three backs. Morgan off to uh, Darcy. Plenty of black jerseys there though. Leave it seven, you're on the deck, leave it seven. Stringer. O'Kelly with his shoulder down. Here goes Leamy. Runs into Mialamu. Down he goes. Now Stringer again. Quick pass. Here's a chance. Nanu. Now can it sit up for him? Yes, it can. Hasn't got too much support. Might have to do it on his own. Little kick and chase. Nanu. I think he might have got oh, that. Oh, he may have. We'll have to look at a replay, but he's just so hungry to score a try, this guy. He thought, how am I going to beat him? I can't run around him. And he looked for another option. He found it off his foot. And he, I, think he won the, I think he won the race. Well, did he control it? That's the thing. Well, the All Blacks are making the trek back to halfway, but as we saw a few minutes ago, that's not the absolute indication. This is. Oh, oh don't know. Ooh, he sort of did. <laughs> sort yeah, of. Well, the, let's see if he controls it. It's a good little it. kick. Did he control it? And he was so keen to get it. Oh, I don't think so. Well, I'll tell you what, it's only lost backwards, isn't it? That was lost backwards. I don't know. So, I don't know. He may get this yet. Well, the All Blacks have all gone back to halfway. So let's see what Roy Maybank thinks. Yeah, but remember, they were all about 30 metres away. And as though he was out there all by himself, Nanu. I'm not sure he controlled that. At he rolled it forward, didn't he? Yeah, at this point, he's lost it. And I don't know whether he can give that. No, I think it's a, it's a tough one, isn't it? Yeah, just the... He looks to have lost control of that right well, under the torso oh he's uh, having a good hard look at it though isn't he yeah i reckon if i was in his position i'd give it of course you would <laughs> you're a kiwi all if blacks. i was an irishman i'd say no while this is all going on uh, all blacks preparing to make some changes which uh, will involve two in the front row andrew Hoare and salmoni uh, salmoni tamui piao about to come on and jimmy cowan at halfback and it's no try that's a fair call so back they go for the second time. I bet he scores a try before the end. Not a, he's hungry for a try. Two changes for Ireland as well. Coming on in 17, the uh, replacement prop Simon Best. Matt McCulloch coming on in 18. Well, it's getting more and more like American football every year, isn't it? John Hayes and uh, Big Malcolm O'Kelly coming off for Ireland and for New Zealand. Kevin Mialami, Tony Woodcock and uh, Pity Ripley, who's had an excellent game. Uh, those three leaving the field. So a wave of players on and a wave of players off. It's the old substitution. So Jimmy Cowan, who came on last week against Wales, back again for the final 16, 17 minutes of this game. Picked up by Dennis Leamy. Now Stringer. There go. Oh, using it in front of their own line. Good run again by Darcy. He's had a strong game. Now they get him right on the 22. 